now at Histria Citadel. This used to be a big city during the Roman times, about 2,000 years ago. This used to be an important city during those times. We just check out of the Peninsula Resort and we are going back to Ploiești but we're gonna have a stopover at one Roman old uh, citadel, ruin. So let's go for that now. We are now exiting the Murgiol village uh, where we stayed in the hotel and we are driving towards the Histia citadel. We are passing a, a sunflower field. Check it out. We just stop over now at one old medieval citadel fortress on top of a hill and uh, we're gonna go there, up there on top of the hill. We're now here at one fortress on top of a hill. It is called the Ensala Citadel. It is a medieval fortress. Let's check it out. We are inside the fortress already and as you can see, it's really a ruin. That's the remains of this fortress. This citadel is overlooking the Black Sea, but right now it's just overlooking the lake because the Black Sea withdraw. We are here at the Museum of the Citadel and as you can see this is the map. This is where we stayed, alright? Then right now the Citadel is here, this area. This is the museum and this is the Citadel. Here we are right now. Before it was the Black Sea here. However, now it's just a lake because the Black Sea withdrew. That's why it's divided now into two. The lake and the Black Sea. Now leaving the medieval citadel and its sala. It was built in the 13th to 14th century as a way to defend uh, this area. We're gonna go now back to the car and then we will uh, continue our road trip. We will stop over at one citadel. It's more older than this one. That one is maybe 2000 years old and uh, we will check out that place. We just reached the Roman uh, citadel. These are the remains here of the Roman citadel. It was one of the biggest citadels in this area. And it's uh, 2000 years old. So we're gonna check out the place now and see what it's all about. We're here now at Histria Citadel. This used to be a big city during the Roman times and the Greek times, about 2,000 years ago. And this used to be a, an important city during those times. Let's check it out! These stones are like 2,000 years old. The way I see, this looks much better than Sarpicitia Tusa. Because look at the walls, the walls are still there, so it's not really full. However, it's still up there. It was not really entirely ruined. And the walls are so thick. Well, the main entrance that you just saw used to be the main entrance of the main city of the Citadel Histria. Okay, the way I see this uh, citadel is still good. It's still good looking compared to other citadels that we've seen, like nothing is left at all. 
it's entirely ruined however the main thing here that i really like is the main entrance wall it's so thick and somehow it's still there you will see that it's really an entrance around and checking out the place this used to be like the residential neighborhood like uh, important people were staying here we each have some columns here check out this color it's very nice 2000 years still standing before it used to be the black sea here so there used to be like a port city a very important port city Located around 65 kilometers from the modern city of Constanza in Romania, Histria was founded by Greek colonists around the year 700 before Christ. The city enjoyed a lifespan of almost 1,400 years, and at its peak it had around 25,000 residents. In the 7th century after Christ, the city was finally abandoned and then destroyed. Throughout its lifespan, the city was, for most of the time, under the influence and control of the world's two largest empires, the Greek and the Roman. They used to have spa here, huh? Istria uh, Citadel, Fort Citadel. It was built uh, in the Greek times actually and then the Romans time came so that's more than 2000 years ago. These are uh, at the back they are the exterior walls built by the Romans later on to protect the citadel from the invasion of the other barbaric tribes. Did you like it? Yeah, it's way, way better than other citadels that I have seen. I think it looks better than the Sarmisa Jetuza. But still, it's a ruin, but you can still see these big stones from the main wall. We're gonna go now and have something to eat here, some fresh fish, and then drive back to Ploiești. This is the end of our trip here in the Danube Delta and the Black Sea area. Mother and father are at the back, talking nicely, <laughs> chatting. They are hungry, so we're just gonna eat now. We're now here at the restaurant outside the Histria ruins, and we've ordered some food for lunch. So I've ordered a Serbian rice because that's the only rice that they have. Oh, wow, Serbian rice. Yeah, that's how it looks like. It's the first time that I've seen it. Uh, it has red bell pepper. Carrots, mushrooms, parsley on top. I think it has been cooked in a broth of something. Then we have here the horse mackerel. It's the first time I've seen that as well. I try it, how to do it. It tastes like fish. It's not that crunchy, but it's fine. It's a bit meaty, but small. I got a fish called crab and I have polenta which is a corn flour paste made like a bread and it comes with some lemon and I think this is a garlic sauce mm -hmm. so this is a fried fried crab the name of the fish is crab in Romania I think in English it's called carp carp it's time to try it out I'm gonna dip it here in the garlic sauce mm. it's very soft tender but also crunchy in the same time. And polenta is a must try when you are in Romania. Corn flour bread. They have soups, 
fish soups. Fish soup de soup, pește. Caras, caras, caras. Let's enjoy this feast. We are now leaving the restaurant and we are on the way back to Ploiești. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Remember to share it, give us a like and comment below. And if you love watching our videos, kindly click that subscribe and bell icon above. Thanks and see you on the next one.